One day, the rabbi came to me. Big rabbi, Rebbe, not rabbi, Rebbe. And Rebbe said, Andrew, I want to send you to go and see somebody. But it's a woman. I said, I can't believe the Rebbe is sending me to a woman. He said, it's not only that. She's not a Jew either. You mean you're sending me to a goy? He said, yes. I'm sending you to a goy woman. So I went to see the goy woman. The most powerful, largest woman I've ever seen. She was really scary. <laughs> and she came over to me and put her hand on me and started to prophesy. She said, you're calling all your life, she said. You are called to work for peace in the Middle East. Wow. So I presumed that would be Israel. But then I learned that the Middle East was a little bit bigger than Israel. <laughs> and um, the rabbi, my rabbi, is still working with me all the time. And it's phenomenal how this rabbi sent me to this lady who was a Christian, who was inspirational. And she prophesied, my calling was peace in the Middle East and not just Israel. Nowadays, I am director or president, or something or the other, of the Jerusalem International School for Reconciliation Training. And every year we have a school which is open to everybody, where we take people into Jerusalem and at Christ Church Jaffa Gate, we train them in the intricacies of Middle East peacemaking. We have everybody speaking from the ultra-Orthodox rabbis to one of my friends, Sheikh Imad Faluji, who was the founder of Hamas. He founded Hamas. And one day, God called me to work to bring the religious leaders of Israel and Palestine together. And he was one of the leaders of Palestine. So I started working at this. Anyway, this Hamas guy is a long story, but the Hamas guy is now a total peacenik. He's the biggest person at working for peace with us. One day, he was with me in London with Rabbi Michael Melchior, who was then Deputy Foreign Minister of Israel and an Orthodox rabbi. And he was working on piecing us together and we were doing a press conference and all the press were there. And the Arab press started shouting at Sheikh Iman. And they said, how can you be a Palestinian leader when you're with this Zionist, this evil Zionist? And he took the evil Zionist's hand and he said, Rabbi Melchior is my brother. And we walk the long road of reconciliation together. 
We're not there yet, but we will keep going until we are there. <laughs>